Welcome to the channel everyone, this is Dreas and today I am checking out Soul Mask. And I played it a little bit just to kind of get a feel for it. And uh, it's very intricate. I'm going to cut out the, the starting splash screen. So you kind of mess a little bit before this where he uh, sacrifice the woman there on the altar when it's a little uh mature and adult i'm sure you can see it somewhere else out there So he falls down here and he finds this soul mask. And you kind of get to pick from three. Uh, I believe starting out, evidently there's other masks. Uh, they have different traits attached to them. Like this one has like a healer mode at the end. Uh, defensive. This just seems to be more of a, like a, probably a defensive mask. This is like a sneaky, stealthy mask with some life steal and crit and a little backstab damage. And this is kind of like the uh, sniping or bowyer mask. Also, the, the sneaking stuff is probably good for light blades and light weapons, stuff like that. But I'm gonna go with uh, the boy, your the bow, your one, the one with the archery stuff. Yeah, archery. That's it. And we're gonna name our guy Andreas and mask color. Go with the green and kind of turquoise. I'm thinking, yeah, that'll work. Dang, 20 broth and wall lamp. All right, so there's a lot of uh, tutorial stuff in here you can read and get lost in. It's very intricate and detailed and whatnot. And I'm not going to read all that stuff. It's too much. I tried recording my first uh, playthrough and it's just I'm like, yeah, I didn't get into too much muchness. Uh, looks like I started in a different area. Started on the beach last time. Uh, I kind of want to make my way to there at some point, so I'm going to go ahead and put a shortcut there, I think, or a marker. And we should be able to see it in the distance. But we're going to work on some of this uh, intro stuff first. Alright, we want to gather. Looks like we some fiber. We need to find some stones and some branches on the ground. Right, there's some stone. Need one more stone. All right. So this tutorial stuff, I'm not gonna read. In fact, I want to see if I can turn that stuff off. turn that off I believe all right press T to enter knowledge and technology tree and select campfire and long press all right campfire over here long press we got that and then tab to open your backpack and select a campfire and craft it all right 
So you can like add numbers here if you want. You can hit F to craft multiple. All right, went on our hot bar, and now they're going to want us to place it. I'm just going to throw it down right here. All right, now they want us to press T to enter knowledge and technology and view primitive two stone tools and unlock that. And then we need to craft a stone pickaxe and then collect some stones. So primitive tools, stone tools. And now we need to craft a pickaxe. We got that going. Use stone pickaxe to collect stones one at a time. One time, <laughs> not one at a time, duh. Oh wow, so when you craft stuff, you can craft different tiers. Like uh, this is a tier three, so I got an excellent craft out of this. So that's pretty sweet. Yes, you can sit here and do it over and over. All right, you got some stone out of that. Uh, press tab, open the crafting bar, and craft one stone axe. All right, stone axe, I need more branches. So let's grab another branch. Craft our stone axe. Chances are we're not going to get that lucky again. Let's move this stuff down here. Uh, pickaxe there for now uh, we got a green one which is a tier one and then they're gonna want us to chop a tree down I guess they just want me to chop it once I'm gonna get the whole tree I mean might as well finish what it started all right now they want me to craft a stone scythe and I am missing stones now, somehow. You'd think I'd got a few stones earlier. One flint. One stone. Uh, that doesn't make sense to me. Two stone, three stone. Okay. I've got ten ore out of that. Alright. Anyway. So the scythe... We'll make that. Uh, let's get the nuts out of the way. They don't even need to be on the hot bar. Get your nuts off my hot bar. Oh, wow. Tier 5. I'm really on it. Legendary. I didn't know that was possible. Woohoo. Item must be repaired manually. Legendary scythe. Don't know what I'm all excited about. It's a stone tool. But. Well, I'm excited. All right, press O to open the character interface. Select the stats you want to improve and press E to add points and then press space to confirm. All right, well, I am an archer, so perception is like your bow damage and stuff like that. Got four points to allocate, so I'm going to add two of them there. Uh, this is max hit points, hit point recovery, speed, stuff like that. What? Put one up oh, or cancel. You got to click on select it and put one there. Strength is max load, carrying capacity, hammer damage. All right, and this is stamina, stamina cost reduction, and this is attack speed of all melee weapons. All right, so. I get a little extra stamina starting off as well. So we're gonna go with that for now. Alright, press T and view primitive weapons. Long press the left mouse button to learn weapon blueprint on the right. And then craft a wooden spear. Alright, primitive weapons right down here. Wooden spear. I'm gonna go ahead and learn this one too. And uh craft me a wooden spear. Wooden spear is where is it? Well right there. Okay. Let 
a thick rope or the bow. Right, well, we got a blue spear. All right, I'm gonna put the spear on number three. I'm gonna put my scythe on six. The fruit up here for now. The ladder could go on seven. All right, equip the wood spear. I keep wanting to, keep wanting to say spear. Press F to execute a special attack. Don't see. I mean, I guess I can just do. Is that gonna work? Yeah. All right. Press Q to initiate life perception, which is what I did. And if you look down bottom center, there's like a little five icons. You got like a face with some collars coming off of it or whatever, a shield. And you got a Z. That's your uh, sleep, fatigue, whatever you want to call it. Then you got encumbrance and you got food and you got drink. The first one is your soul mass power. So when you use this, you use the soul mass power. This lets you see any nearby creatures or enemies. And you know, open your map, look at your location. Good enough. And then use your weapon to successfully hunt a common animal in the rainforest one time. Tab to enter the crafting bar and craft a butcher's knife, which is this right here. We'll craft this one of them. And it's a greening. Eh. I'll leave it there for now. Guess I'll just head this way until I find me something to kill. Oh, there's a turkey right there. Crouch down. Oh, I totally missed him. I miss him again? I guess that one's down the hill. Alright. Let's use your knife. We just beat the hell out of this thing. Alright. Tab to open the two bar and select any cooked meat can be cooked over campfire. Alright, well the campfire's back here. Guess I can run back and use it as opposed to building another one. Right, let's go ahead and put the meat down here. Let's light it. Let's uh it have to cook everything cook as many as we can and if I want it to lower that from as many as we can I could hit the minus side sign to adjust it if there was multiple things crafting you can drag your queue around and reorder it which is pretty freaking sweet go ahead and extinguish this just in case we do come back to it uh, now gotta consume some of it so I'll just put it on my hot bar right there for now zero now they want me to build thatch foundations and thick rope well I actually want to build some thick rope anyway and I'm gonna need some vines oh, I gotta learn it first that's right go to basic building and unlock foundations and thick rope and they want me to craft 12 thick rope which i don't think i have enough to craft 12 i can craft four so let's get our scythe out we're gonna need some thatch we're 
vegetation. Let's see. 37, that's about 10. That should get us to 12. Get some more because I'm going to make... I'm going to want to make some ropes to make me a bow. Alright, let me go ahead and get my bow made first. I'm going to want some more branches. Uh, we got us a uh, blue bow, so that's pretty good. Put my bow on three. I need some arrows, though. I don't know if we get arrows back. All right, now they want us to go to knowledge and technology and find linen gear and learn that. And defense gear. Uh, that's be down here the fence gear I'm gonna get the attack gear while we're here and I'm gonna go ahead and get the torch too stone spear stone projectile okay <laughs> just looking all right so I'm going to craft 20 linen. I'm just going to craft all we have. Which is, what, about 50? 50 something, 54 or something. And then they're going to want us to craft costume, pants, and shoes. So we're going to do pants, shoes, And like if you want to see an example of dragging your queue around. And then the costume. I'll make the stone bead necklace as well. And I want the gloves. We need for this ring a calite that's probably going to come from a rock. Uh, choose linen gear you made and wear it. Wear that bead necklace, those gloves. That way, we got something in every slot. All right. Inner knowledge technology, find basic weaving, simple weaving, and make simple bandages. I think they hurt me just so uh, just so they can do this. Alright, simple basic weaving. Simple weaving. Alright, you're gonna long press this and it's gonna tell you you need to learn some other stuff. And it's gonna spend the tech points it needs to get you there. So basically it learns this and this or the loom right and needed the loom and that and now they want me to make some bandages uh, I'm just gonna use the linen I have left to make all of those bandages up and then we need to use one all right now they want me to make the thatch foundations I'm going to get my bow out and see how this thing works. What's F do? No arrows or haven't dragged an arrow on the bow. Okay. So that's how you load them. That does a jump back attack. Cover arrows. Doesn't look like it. There's another turkey. All right, well, that's our first kill with the bow. All right, I want to put this here. And 
evidently their scores hunting score excellent rating I don't know what that means uh, 11.442 kilo blue rarity tells what I killed it with hunting score back to hunting log and there's a log of your hunting stuff so not sure what I was going on there when I figured out I'll let you know right now just gonna slaughter this puppy thinking right here might be a good place to just start out could go over there but you can move this stuff there's a turkey over there And okay, yeah, that tree can go too. What about this rock? No, this rock is here to stay. Hmm. What may change things? Now these guys will walk in the way of your swings. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, well, first, I want to eat some of this broth. Get that under control. I guess, did I take some damage at some point? Uh, go over here. It's kind of hard to tell if that's sloping over there. Go over here and have a look. See how much flat ground's over here. Looks like there's something back there that's kind of, yeah, that's another big-ass rock and stuff. Thinking as shallow as this water probably is, hopefully I can build across it if need be. Just don't know about that boulder, if I can build over it. All right, T... That's foundation. All right. Tab. That's foundation. All right, so how many of these can we make? We can't make that many, but we're going to make as many as we can. I'm going to need a lot more thick rope. So let's queue up as many of them as we can as well. Get the thatch foundation. Down here. I honestly don't know if I do. So something's stopping me here. Is it that? Is there still some stone that needs to be removed? Hopefully it's just that. And back to number eight. Yes. Try to come back to this heel here. All right, yeah. All right, press tab, open the crafting bar, and craft a bonfire. Let's craft us a bonfire. Uh, it's locked. Cause I haven't learned it yet. Bonfire. Where any strength needed? Five. That's basically your level. And let's. Build us a bonfire. All right, let's put this out to about right there. All right. Learn basic building thatch wall and thatch cover. Vagabond ran across your base in such a dangerous environment she wants to team up with you. Uh, sure. Received an important gameplay introduction. Please check 
Uh, even though I didn't ask for it. Important. Okay, first tribesman. First tribesman of your large tribe. He not may not be that powerful, but carries a lot of hope. At the start of your adventure, leave him at home to prepare supplies for you. And you'll have more time to explore the wild. You can bring him on your adventure, but you know... But you know it's an unforgiving world out there. Before you unlock the info entry function of the mask, you might lose him early every time he dies. You might lose him every time he dies. Try holding E to interact with him and hear what he has to say. Oh, to open up all his stats and stuff like that. Oh. Well, that ain't a he. That's a she. Alright. Few items, got a lamp, stuff like that. I guess is that my energy mask or hers? Maybe she's got a mask too. I don't look like she's got a mask. And look at O, and I think you come over here. Uh, she's level 19. The one I got earlier was level 20, but this chick is oh wow, she's strong. Let's see. Origin fighting. Raised in a clan that has produced many famous warriors who are good at melee fighting. Proficiency growth rate for blade, dual wield, hammer, great sword, and gauntlets plus 60%. Origin fighting one. Likes mild heat. Loves bone weapons. Likes leather gear. Got a bonus to giant damage. Has bad vision. Weak launches a weak attack, minus five attack speed. Gets thirsty easy. World shaking. Able to detect the sounds of approaching objects before they are seen. The volume of all sounds is amplified by 100%. A slacker. Stamina recovery minus 20%. Okay. Welcome aboard, slacker. Let's learn our thatch walls and stuff. Thatch wall. That's cover, that's door, furniture can wait, that's box, yes. And craft, that's building materials, build a covered shelter to keep your bonfire safe. See if we got the stuff to build some walls. Let's go with... At least six walls starting out. Alright, we can do that. Two, three, four, five, six. And let's go with uh, go minus one or minus two. Let's make two thatch door frames. I'm going to need six roofs. Roofs. I don't think I'm going to have enough for six. Got enough for five. going to need more thick rope. Which means I'm going to need more vine. Daylight's coming. Alright, let's put this up. Let's get our door frames. We're going to put... Door frame here. Oh. Okay, put a door frame there. Too close to the fire. Wall there. Wall there. All the vagabonds there. Wall there. And a wall there. A, uh, mind. Hold E. Uh, deploy. Follow me. Can you climb up here? No. Nope. Uh, in deployment. 
Just stay there long enough for me to get this wall put down over here and you go back over here and hug this rock some more if you need to. Too close to the bonfire. Uh, okay. I mean, we don't want to burn the world down or nothing. I guess that makes sense. What do I need to rotate? I think my bonfire just went out. Uh, how was I rotating it while ago? Get on the outside. This ain't going to make no sense whatsoever, but... Alright, let's get rid of this for a minute. And let's get our bonfire lit back up. I'll put this hardwood in here. The iron a half. Right, so when you put stuff down, it, it goes down damaged. And it starts gaining hit points. And I think the bonfire will make it go easier, quicker. Alright, evidently... uh. I'm having a lot of thirst. I'm going to gather up some uh, materials real quick, and I'll be back, and we'll kind of get this finished up a little bit better. All right, I'm back. Uh, I actually just got one of them Calite rocks out of this big rock I just mined here. What's it called? Calite? Calite? Whatever. And I got a few foundations made up. Of course, uh, my new friend is going to be over there in the way. So, yeah, thanks for that, friend. I think you could, uh, like, learn to not be in the way so much. Hey, how's it going? Uh, uh, yeah, follow me real quick. Just going to... Put you right here for the time being. Can you just hang out right there? Thank you. And let's get this back up. Looks like we're going to need another foundation or two. Do I have enough to make some more foundations? Alright, so here's kind of the neat thing. You can do retrieve. And you can get it back. I may have already done that. And I think dismantle just pretty much dismantles kind of just like shit canning them. So ain't too close now, are you? All right, let's get her other walls. Number nine and number nine, and then we got some more roofs, 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 roofs. This is that's not on fire. Alright. Uh, switch focus? No. Alright, gotta figure out a way. There's gotta be a way to rotate it. What am I missing? Uh, look down, that's what you do to rotate it. Come on now. That's rotating it. Okay, uh, whatever. This is a uh, gotta be something I'm missing here. I don't want to do that. Again, Z to switch to other styles. That is what I want there and there. Maybe if I just do this, it'll be easier. Go back to. No, oh, I skipped it there there we go there we go and then let's re relocate and we're gonna just kind of move it I can't be standing in the middle of it all right so 
About there, maybe? Counter center of the room. Home sweet home. The comfort from the sweet home that cuts off the unknown and dangers in the wild. Boosts recovery, reduces bodily consumption, and slightly increases chill-proof, heat-proof, and radiation-proof abilities. Comfort level one. Dwell in a shabby residence and gain pleasant mood after resting in a chair, in a bed, or a bathtub. All right, well, we're not going to get into that next step of carpentry. I am going to put down this uh, little thatch box for now. And we'll just throw it right here. All right, well, we're going to end this episode right here. I'm going to gather some resources off camera, and then we'll come back and uh, pick up with the quest here and probably expand our base a decent bit more. I have a feeling we're going to need a pretty big base before we get out and start exploring too much. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you all in the next one. Y'all take care. Bye for now.